But right now, my next guest joining me is also from the Massachusetts area. He, like Matt, has played at different venues across Massachusetts, such as Cafe at the Mill. I'm familiar with that venue, among others. He is from the Worcester, Massachusetts area. He is a singer-songwriter and piano player who also performs American vintage jazz, ragtime, and blues piano and song. His music includes some gospel blues elements and songs that encourage and uplift the spirit. It also includes some storytelling and sing-along music that the audience can participate with as well. He is nicknamed the Piano Man. Please welcome for the first time here on Red's Room here on a Saturday night, Glenn Hiller to the program. Glenn, good evening to you. Welcome to Red's Room. Well, thank you for having me. That's so good to be here. And uh, wonderful. Enjoy the whole evening. Other artists here that get to share the evening with them. It's, It's wonderful. It's wonderful. So. That is fantastic. Uh, I've I've seen uh, some of the uh, webcasts of performances that you've done as well, including uh, our friends at Cafe at the Mill. You've been there a number of different times doing some performing. Love your stuff. Great to have you with us here on Red's Room. Tell us a little bit about your your style of music and how it's uh, been developed for you over the years. Well, I have an infinity of love for old music. That's probably bygone days maybe some people might think you know ragtime and jazz early jazz um early gospel stuff um i grew up in a very uh religious family uh christian family and uh you know family of ministers and family so always when i was growing up there's a lot of always a lot of music in the church mostly gospel music or bluegrass music but i i tend to like the jazz stuff so um, and I didn't think I'd ever be able to play in church with this stuff. But as I realized, God says, no, this is what I want you to play. So so I, I guess uh, it just comes that that's what, how it comes out of me, I guess. And uh, I, I, I really appreciate a lot of different styles of music. And like tonight, there's a lot of variety tonight as well. Um, so, Regionally, they call you the piano man. How long is playing oh, the piano okay. been a part of your life there? Oh, the piano man. This I mean, can I tell you how I got the piano man on my Facebook? Because sure, I was trying to make a band site on Facebook, right? Uh huh. I just wanted to share my name, Glenn Hiller. That's all I wanted to do, and it wouldn't let me do it. So <laughs> oh, I really? Added piano man, you know, just to add on to it, just to just so I get a band site on Facebook because it kept on. No, you already got a Facebook site, Glenn. Hiller. And and it took it. So, so somehow everybody called me the piano man, but I think Billy Joel was a real piano man, right? I mean, he's the piano. Man. I'm not the piano man. <laughs> well, I mean, I do play piano. You, so. you mean I can't tell you, you know, sing yeah. us a song? You're the piano man. I can't say uh, that. Never mind. Piano man. Billy Joel. Yeah. That's Billy Joel's uh, uh, title. <laughs> but yes, uh, I am a, a piano man. So, and there's a lot of piano men. So, uh, so uh, I'm just one of many. <laughs> there you go. Well, speaking of Piano Man and playing the keys and all that, let's do some of that right now. Uh, What's the first song you have to share with us this evening, Glenn? A little upbeat song uh, called City on the Hill. Um, This is, we know what the true city of the hill is, is heaven, right? So... Jesus as his bride, 
in that city, the deep sun open wide. It's where the suffers and cries for the return of Eden. That place where river streams can glad the heart. Leaves of its trees can heal the nation. This love and justice will find a fresh start. City on the hill, city on the hill. Heaven is that city on the hill. We're not foolish dreamers, we're blind faith is waiting for. We're of our Redeemer, He will lift us to that shore. That great day will rise to the call of the trumpet. We choose the as His bride in the city. You ever long for perfect song that never tires your ears to have a chance to joyfully dance when your legs won't grow tired. Work off those just men as an animal friend and all laughter and praise. So amazed. For his picture, heaven in his hand. Oh, that beautiful city. Oh, Jerusalem. Oh, the mountain of Zion. Oh, that city on the hill, city on the hill, heaven is that city on the hill. things they say, there's amazing things they say, there's amazing things they say about New Jerusalem, where pilgrims of dying lands find their home. Heaven is that city on the hill. Yeah, City on a Hill. Fantastic there. Oh, right here on Red Zoom. I could definitely tell there's some jazz and some ragtime yeah. sounding influences in there. I love that stuff. Uh, Eric Cohen says, yes, loving it over here. Uh, you had me at blues, <laughs> says Eric. Lisa says, I grew up listening to jazz in New Orleans. Listen to Harry Connick as he was growing up. Oh. Speaking of which, Glenn, with all these great, you know, jazz and and ragtime influences, we asked Matt this earlier. Who has been some of the musical influences for you that kind of helped shape your your music there? Um, yeah, many. I guess many people are secularly. Of course, a lot, a lot of people playing uh, like the old, the old some of the old ragtime. People that listen to him uh, early, like James P. Johnson. Um, um, I'm trying to fast Waller. <laughs> and, you know, it was always really early growing up, like like those guys. There you um, go. Christian music 
one that just really, uh, one person was called Ken Miedema. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. He's a piano player, huh. uh, storyteller, and he's blind, and he, he can sit down, and he just sit down off the cuff to tell stories and just move you <laughs> in a powerful way. Mm-hmm. And, and I, he was like, yeah, that's, that's a, just a whole different way of ministering, you know, just yeah. storytelling element where you just it, not so much you're, you're performing and, and he was playing very much skill, but somehow he could just grab you at the emotion. And, and that was one. Another person is by was then I was in church, Indiana for nine years um, during the early Jesus movement back in the seventies. So part of that. And there was, um, Lawrence Tuning, who's, who's a good friend of mine, or not, I'd say a good friend of mine, but yeah, he's a friend, you know, uh, uh, have known him for years. And, and he also, uh, he's done a lot of gospel music. My Anchor Holds, I think there's one he was famous. He wrote uh, uh, Ray Bolts, he wrote, wrote songs with him. Uh, growing up under him, and he's another person that, that, that early on that just really had an influence on me as far as being able to, play in the spirit you know just play just somehow the holy spirit just anoint what he did and storytelling and you know and he and many people might not, he's, a, he's a fantastic songwriter maybe, maybe people would think he's probably not the greatest singer in the world but he's not a bad singer he's, he's actually quite a good singer but some people might not consider him you know like the upper echelon of singers and i realized that you know that you don't have to be um the greatest singer in the world to be able to God use you <laughs> in a powerful way. And that's, and so I learned that very early on and just, so I got very discouraged and you always compare yourself to other people where you compare yourself to other piano players or other, you know, it, that's, that's not where it's at with, with on the kingdom mm-hmm. of God. You know, he said, in fact, he said that one that serves others, the ones on the bottom, the poor in spirit, you know, there's always the people on the bottom. It seemed like he, that God always seems to have a tendency to elevate. So, you know, and it's just sometimes we get it backwards. Sometimes we feel like we want to be like the world. We want to be recognized. We want, you know, and that's and that's that's very natural. That's and, it, and it's nothing wrong not wanting to play for lots of people and be recognized and have your music be influential. But you know, Jesus said he turned the world upside down. Everything he said is backwards. You know, you're a servant to everybody else. You're you're the poor in spirit. You're the meek. You know, you you know, just it's just like he turned the whole world upside down to say, well, what's flipped and totally upside down so flip, flip the script there <laughs> so so that's so i i just give give honor when i see it see it just prefer now uh, mm-hmm. christ and, and, mm-hmm. music and just want it, it thrills me to death steve that we have a whole generation of people now coming up you know um that that are awesome musicians Amen. And they're making an impact for, for the kingdom. And I, and that, it thrills me, you know, uh, it thrills me. Like Same. Matt, right, Same. Like, you know, the opportunities he's getting, he was sharing. That, that thrills me that he's getting those opportunities. So Amen. music out there. And I wish him the West. I really do. Uh, and, and it's come from New England too. That I'm, makes me kind of feel good. Yes. Lot, lots of great talent up there. Let me tell you. Is anything that happened in New England? And, you know, so when, so when something does, you know, when people do get recognized up here, it kind of makes you feel really good. You know? Oh, I, and my travels up there, I've met so many amazing artists and talent up there. There's a bunch of you guys that are just, just amazing, keeping keeping things going up there and honored to know a lot of you up there. And um, Red is loving, loving the real piano sound over there, loving that. Denise is just love piano, just beautiful. Uh, Lisa, love the piano playing. Let's get to some more piano playing, shall we? What's the second song you got for us tonight? This song is Separate the Tears from the Wheat. It's like, um, you know, like based on the parable. I, I'm not going to talk anymore about this song. This song will talk for itself. Stones fall into darkness 
in the hot dirt below. Fight through the cracks to the break of life. Bear the heat of the day and the cold of the night. When birth come to feast on the seats of the field. Roll through the grass to steal our seeds before the yield. Put roots deep in the ground beneath. Go far down to grow your wheat. Every seed has plenty in time. So it throws a seed of rain or shine. Harvest will come in the fullness of time. I mark to be perfect to this design. For he's the master of the threshing floor. He'll plant those seeds and do much more. He'll bring in the sheets, full and complete. And separate the tears from the wheat. Some seeds fall on briars and thorns. Choke from that before the crop is born. Now thrust yourself on a breeze that blows. Go far to reach good soil. Some seeds surrender when hard rains fall. Fall from the field when the world rains calm. Put roots deep in the ground beneath. Go far down to grow your wheat. Every seed has planted. Time the sower throws a seed of rain or shine. Harvest will come in the fullness of time. A mark to be perfect to his design. For he's the master of the threshing floor. He'll plant those seeds and do much more. He'll bring in the sheaves, the full and complete, and separates the tears from the wheat. Northeast Piano Man right here with us on Red's Room. Uh, I, I, I echo what Jerry, who performed earlier on the broadcast, says. He says, blues style, but definitely not giving me the blues, but joy. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lisa says, wow, so many scriptural references in this jazzy, upbeat tune. Really love it. It's got a solid message. Denise loving it out there as well. A great job, says Misty. Just loving this good stuff there. 
Uh, what's up next for you there, Glenn, uh, as you move through the fall? Is it just more performances where you uh, have gigs and more songwriting and all that sort of stuff, all the above? What's going to be uh, upcoming for you this fall? It's been kind of slow. Uh, I, I do perform, like you, like I say, in some uh, retirement homes and senior events and stuff like that. I do that. Uh, some open mic stuff. I, I kind of reach out to people by going and playing open mics. Uh, I feel it's a great way to get to know other musicians and how to reach out to them and you know, try to build relationships with them and be a witness to them, you know, and uh, they've been well received, uh, you know, stuff planned for them. So it's, it's, it's just another way. Uh, I also I have a, a, a friend of mine who I co-write music with uh, some songs and his name is Brian Merrill. He's a harmonica player. So we play, we play in senior events together too as well and coffee houses. Also been supporting Sam Bowen and the Blue Cat Groove. I've been part of that band, which is another kind of another thing we've been doing. Um, so Sam's working on some album stuff. So I've been supporting him. So I try to support other musicians as well. You there know, you go. Uh, I'm not, uh, and I've been, you know, just, and and he's he's a great storyteller in his own right too. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. And so, so I, I play with him and uh, on the side and. You know, I'm, I'm kind of re- kind of slow down, retired, just, just end up moving, you know, downsizing. So now I'm getting more time to write and stuff. So get back into it. I do have some stuff on Spotify. I do have, uh, I do recording that I've been working on for about a year or so with another fellow. And we're still working on, we haven't totally got that completed. We kind of put some of the songs on Spotify uh, under Hillard Merrill. Um, so, yeah, it's, that's, good, that's stuff. Kind of going on. good stuff. Uh, of course, like I said, there's a great collective of you guys up there and really enjoy your music as well and really love uh, seeing you on the live stream when you you know perform Cafe at the Mill. I've seen you a few times on their stream up there. Always tune in when I can because, you know, like you said, it's just, just that good old-fashioned jazz, just ragtime music that just brings you just full of joy. And not a lot of people sometimes do it these days, and you're one of the ones that do it very well. So we're glad to have you with us here on Red's Room. Privileged to be with you all tonight. Glenn, what's the third song you got to share with us? Okay, this is uh, uh, it's called uh, Trusting by Faith. Trust 
Mr. Jesus. Not by sight, but by faith. Lead me on, O oh God, in life. And keep me walking by your grace. Put your arms around me and lead me to your love and harmony. I'll put around all Satan's town, walk in victory and faith. I'll put around all Satan's town. Walk in victory and faith. Boy, have we been blessed by so much great music here tonight on red's room here on the saturday night i i knew heading into this that this is going to be one of those lineups that top to bottom just was going to be knock your socks off blessing and boy it has been so far uh great to have everyone with us uh love uh the great stuff uh, misty says great job so awesome everybody's loving it out here thank you everybody for watching us if you're watching us on zoom right here uh on with us uh, as an attendee or whether you're watching us on facebook as well thank you for tuning in and making resident a part of your labor day weekend before we get into our last song there um glenn what goes through the process for you i know each person is different when you're sitting down writing a song how does it work for you does you, you play around and get the instrumentation going first and then the lyrics kind of come alongside of it or do you usually start with the lyrics and then you work on the melody afterwards work both ways how, how does it work for you uh, it, it's, it depends yeah sometimes yeah a concept comes first you know like a, like a message or what and and it seemed like it's it's a uh, it's there. I'm just gotta dig it out. You know, it's the Holy Spirit. You know what I'm saying? And and like my, my previous brother said earlier, he said, you know, like uh, yeah, I keep on redoing it, redoing it. And I I I can't write a song. I don't think I ever wrote a song in 20 minutes. But you know, I mean, some people can write that fast. But I, you know, it's like I have to rework it, rework it. You know, and and it seemed like the words are there. You just gotta find them. You know, it's kind of like you got to find what the words are. And, and that's the Holy Spirit, I think, you know. Uh, it's like the, the song is already there, mystically, and you just got to discover it. It's sort of, isn't that weird? Isn't that kind of weird? It's like, I don't know if I'm always, because I try to write song on my own. I, it, it don't come out too good. It's just, it just seems like when the Holy Spirit is just anointing what you're doing, yeah. and it's it's a gift from God. You know, it, indeed. And that's how it works for some people. Sometimes people call it a, a download, if you will. They're just being, just download. And I, I've heard and talked with some different artists that, uh, you know, it comes to them in different ways. They may have a chorus in it, and, yeah. and, but they're looking for maybe a bridge to finish it off. And all of a sudden, the Lord through their spouse finishes it off or just through the Lord to wake them up one night in the middle of the night and go, ooh. And they got to jot it down because the Lord just gave them something they never would have thought of on their own. And it's just one of those things where you never know where a song, especially a good song, can come from. And you just got to be open and receptive to it, however the spirit gets it to you. Yeah. Uh, you know, and just be receptive to where it leads. And uh, you're you're definitely one of those that uh, does a wonderful job of doing that. And you're, you're great, uh, bluesy jazz ragtime style. We feature so many different genres on the beautiful things about Red Zoom. And you're going to even see it with Eric here in just a few moments here, just in this night alone. So many different subgenres of Christian music. There's so much rich talent out there that can't be penned into one genre. So much great talent out there. There is literally something for everyone, and we try to feature it each and every week here on Red Zoom. Something for everyone. Glenn, you got one more song to share with us tonight. Uh, what you got for us? That's, uh, that's a good question. <laughs> yes, I got one more. I'm just trying to figure out like which one. Um, yeah. 
Well, okay. This is a song I don't sing very often, but somehow I think God is telling me to sing that stuff. Long ago in a garden, Satan's plan was well devised. Adam's race had fallen, Christ's death in paradise. God's son Jesus, his blood will now suffice. For sin and death be conquered by the redeeming. Sacrifice. And all the martyr champions followed in their numbers, torture for the resurrection song. Stones and song under the still bold as thunder, the good news of the land. Must go on. Draw your sword for battle, onward, Christian, to the fight. Rise from your slumbering, stand firm and shine and bright. It calls us to be heroes. Truth bears of the light. So come alive and be fortified by the power of his might. The warriors on a mission to bring down the walls of evil. The dragon falls from his pinnacle on high. The gates of hell in a people. Satan's power is no equal to the Redeemer, the truth and the life. Them heroes of old, they all sold round us, tearing from the grand stands in the sky. Dry bones, they cry for valor to rise. Where have all the champions gone? Oh, brave and strong. Cheering on the streets of gold, one glorious homecoming parade. That marching thankful saints we sing in amazing grace. A fairly range down heavy on our saluting motor case. A trophy of copper demons on display. Forever evil Satan is chained in outer darkness, but we have a crown of life for a prize. God triumphs in the throne room, there's feasting with the bridegroom, white robes washed in the blood adorn the bride.
them heroes of old. They all surround us, carried from the grandstands in the sky. Rain over dry bones and cry for valor to revive. With all his champions gone, oh, brave and strong. With all the heroes gone. Come along, come along, come along. Come along, come along, come along. Come along, join the faithful in that song. Be encouraged, carry on. Where are all the heroes? Yes, indeed. Fantastic stuff there from Glenn Hillard right here on Red's Room tonight. Great, great stuff. Um, Jerry Bradley, who played it there, says, you know, the songwriting approach, not weird at all. Great, growing that plant planted by the Holy Spirit. I, I guess, when we were, Jerry, when we were talking about uh, builders and growers, I guess they can possibly count Glenn as one of those growers, too, as, as the analogy Jerry used earlier tonight. I just saw this message on Zoom a, a, a little bit ago, but 10 minutes ago, apparently you played their favorite. Eileen Consolo says, this is my favorite, Glenn. So you must have played one of their favorites along the way tonight to go up to Eileen, who's joining us over on Zoom tonight. Glenn, it has been an absolute privilege. What's that? She's a good friend of mine. There you go, Eileen. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Great to have you here as part of Red's Room. We are here every Friday night, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific, and Saturday, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, each and every Friday and Saturday night here on Red's Room. Glenn, if we want to continue your musical journey and check out your music on the streaming sites and website, all that fun information, where are some of the places we can find you, sir? Well, that, that that's something I probably should do a little better job on. I, I mean, <laughs> Facebook, uh, there, there's, uh, there, there's some music on Spotify. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I do have a CD, yeah, and uh, um, so yeah, yeah. If um, you just go on my Facebook site, and 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 if you want a CD, I sort of try to give someone a CD. Uh, and you so. can check out, I think, his Facebook. Uh, of course, you can sometimes find him performing at different spots in yeah. and around the Northeast area. As I mentioned, Cafe at the Mill being one of the spots. They usually have him out there every several months uh, or so on their calendar. And, of course, you can find out some of the many places to be on. Just, of course, don't forget, Glenn, we, we need to mention it because, you know, it, it allowed it to go through. Glenn Piano Man Hillard, you, you search for that, you know, the piano part, it, it goes right through. Yeah. Not to be mistaken, not not to trounce on Billy Joel. We all do respect to him. There you go. But he is the he is the blues and jazz and ragtime piano man over here for CCM. Let me tell you, Eric Cohen says, "Great job, brother. That was a blessing for my soul, as it was to me. That is just such cool music that you just don't sometimes hear a lot of anymore. It's just I love the cool stuff that can be found." right here on Red Zero. Let's pray for Glenn as well, Father. We just thank you for Glenn. We thank you for bringing his. Just smooth sound song stylings right here on Red's Room. Continue to bless him and continue to bless the many talent that's in the Northeast area. Let me just thank you for his heart of story, his heart of song, his heart to just love on and, and minister to your people. And we thank you for his heart as well, much like Glenn's, for reaching the adult family homes and the nursing homes and people that are just touched by this music we thank you that you're bringing him an audience that continues to be inspired and encouraged and lifted up and pointed to our savior by this music continue to give him a heart of heart of song and the lyrics that he needs to be filled with to just continue to impact a generation of folks not just in his local northeast area but as you continue to reach his music across the nation and across the globe we just thank you for glenn much like our other musicians continue to provide for him and take care of him as only you can and we thank you 
for, for having him join us here tonight with his gifts and talents right here on Resident. We thank you for Glenn in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glenn, honor to have you here. Thank you for being with us on your first time on Resident. Hopefully we'll have you back soon as well. Thank you for uh, for sharing this night with us. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. It's, it's an honor to be here. Thank you.